Hi, um, I just wanted to share what I've been doing with you um, today. Um, I have, um, I used to make leather notebooks, um, I still do make leather notebooks sometimes, and I have been watching Amity Bloom and Tiffy Butter, and they make the most amazing, beautiful um, journals. Um, they're junk journals but they're inserts as well for the Midori Traveller's Notebook. Now I didn't have a Midori's Traveller's Notebook but I um, have worked with leather quite a lot so um, yesterday I made myself one. Um, didn't take me very long, I made my partner one as well. Um, this is a leather one and it's um, actually backed with um, velvet which is really nice and I made myself um, a little insert. Once I'd made that insert I thought I would make some more and I've made four. They are very very basic, there's nothing special about these. Um, they are all very very similar inside. This one has um, a fabric um, cover, it's a cardstock cover covered in um, fabric and uh, there's muslin and a Sue Olsen image on this one and some lace down the spine. There's a little key hanging out the bottom that matches the image. I'll just really quickly flip through the pages. Nick the Booksmith again, big inspiration, lots of her little tabs in here. So there's squared paper, book paper, copy paper with um, trim, book pages, squared paper, uh, to-do list, music pages. Um, this is a book um, called The Countryside, it's absolutely beautiful. Scroll paper. This is um, book insert pages, you know the first few pages of a book that's blank. Um, it's more of that book. There are pockets in here, this is the centre of the signature. There are pockets but I had to remember this isn't a junk journal so I haven't filled it with anything. It is literally just paper for a notebook insert. That's the other side of that paper, that's a pocket. And that one folds out. When I tore this paper, the edge um, didn't tear very well but I thought it looked really nice, I've left it. That's a little tuck spot there. That's a fold out. That's another tuck, tuck spot there. And there's a colouring page as well actually in this one. So that's the first one. The second one is also a fabric um, cover that's been aged. This was um, a dressing table um, mat. It's vintage but I'm not sure how old it is. Very very similar to the first book inside. The to-do list. Country um, flower pages. Book pages. Colouring pages. Music paper. That's more of that countryside book. Lots of trim. That's the centre of the signature and there's a little butterfly in this one. That's a little tuck pocket, sorry. Sorry, I'm really not very good at doing videos. I don't like doing them at all. <laughs> That's the second one. I don't think um, the, the light's really bad as well because the, it's quite dark today. And this is the third one. It's got um, a sequined fabric cover. Um, this one has a little gold bead hanging out of the bottom that matches the sequins. And again, it's really similar to the first two books inside. I won't show you every page. So this one's got a deer, same um, tucks, pockets on the inside, centre, colouring page, 
and that fold out to do schedule page. So that was that one. And the final one, it's another fabric um, cover. This one was a sideboard um, protection doily. <laughs> Um, it's got a really pretty embroidered leaf on, there's a heart at the bottom of this one and again really really similar to the other two, um, the other three sorry, tuck pockets and lots of tabs, music paper, book paper, square paper, graph paper, lots of different types of paper. <laughs> and that's the centre of that signature. So that's those. I really, really enjoyed making these. Really, really good fun. So that's the four. They look lovely, don't they? Um, anyway, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've had a fantastic Easter. It's been pretty grey here, but the day's been lovely. Thank you. Bye.